Spiritual power is really a distinctive kind of knowledge, like the key that opens the door, or the switch that starts the energy moving. It is that special insight that we need to break up the logjam of knowledge. From Wakantrika, the great spirit, there came a unifying life force that flowed in and through all things. The flowers of the plains, blowing winds, rocks, trees, birds, animals. That was the same force that had been breathed into the first man. Thus all things were kindred and were brought together by the same great mystery. So close did some of the Lakotas come to their feathered and furred friends that they spoke a common tongue. The animal had right, the right to man's protection, the right to live, to multiply, the right to freedom, and the right to man's indebtedness. Lakota never enslaved an animal and spared all life not needed for food or clothing. This concept of life and its relations was humanizing. It gave Lakota an abiding love. It filled our being with the joy and mystery of living. It gave us reverence for all life. It made a place for all things in the scheme of existence with equal importance to all. Our fathers gave us many laws, which they had learned from their fathers. These laws were good. They told us to treat all people as they treated us, that we should never be the first to break a bargain, that it was a disgrace to tell a lie, that we should speak only the truth, that it is shameful to take from another man his wife or property without payment. We were taught to believe that the Great Spirit sees and hears everything, that the Great Spirit never forgets, and that hereafter He will give everyone a spirit home according to His deserving. If He has been a good man, He will have a good home. If he has been a bad man, he will have a bad home. This I believe, and all my people believe the same. Those who live for one another learn that love is the bond of perfect unity. Perfect unity is when you put other people ahead of yourself. When they put you ahead of themselves, there is perfect love, perfect unity, and no one has to worry about equality anymore. You have something much better. Besides, you can never have equality because the person you want to be equal with is not standing still waiting for you to catch up. By the time you get there, he or she will be somewhere else.
endless patience, you shall carry out your duties. Your firmness will be tempered with tenderness for your people. Neither anger nor fury shall lodge in your mind. All your words and actions shall be marked by calm deliberation. Self-interest shall be cast into oblivion, but do not cast out the warnings of others. If they should chide you for any error or wrong you may do, return to the way of the great law, which is just and right. Look and listen for the welfare of the whole people. Always have in sight not only present, but coming generations. We are bound in the sacred hoop. Humans, the four-leggeds, the living green things, orbits within orbits, circles within circles. From the great hoop of the universe which, eons ago, dreamed itself into existence, to the blood circling within your own body, the universe and the earth are round. Round is the camp circle. Round is the teepee, with the humans forming a circle within it. Round is the human hoop of the ghost dancers holding hands, circling, 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 until they fall down in a swoon. 